In this slide, we will discuss about the need for event management. Event management provides multiple career opportunities, including that of event planners, event managers, operations and logistics manager, entertainment managers, security managers and so on. Event planners have a lot of growth opportunities given to them, provided they further their abilities by continuing education and working on different projects to gain all-round experience. Over time and with experience, event planners slash managers can become entrepreneurs with their own event management firms or become independent consultants. Event management is one of the few professions that provides a tremendous amount of opportunity to break into the other professions relatively easy. It does not require a formal degree or requisite educational qualification. Professionals working in other careers can easily switch careers to event management if they so desire. Event management is a profession that is growing exponentially and is providing a greater number of jobs to individuals than before. The income opportunities in event management are amongst the best, relative to many other professions. With time and experience the pay packages get better. Event management is a profession that can take individuals across the globe. The kind of experiences event management provides in planning and executing events of a global scale is immense. Be it the managing of an event catering to international audiences or executing an event in a foreign location, the reach is global in nature. Now we will see what are the steps involved in analysis of events. Step 1. Select events for analysis. The event manager must select the desired set of events and come up with a decision as to which event he wants to analyze first. If there have been multiple events, he must prioritize them in their degree of importance. The event manager can also club up the events if they are of similar type, however if the event is very serious, a special team must be appointed by the event manager to make a complete analysis of that particular event. Next step is, collect and collate information. After the event manager decides upon which event to analyze, he must completely gather all the information related to that particular event and collate it to start planning for the particular event. Next is, organize the analysis meeting. The event manager must also make sure that he organizes regular meetings before the occurrence of the event. He can also invite external participants who might be having additional information about the event for the meeting. These participants can also suggest specific proposals for improvement of the event. Step 4 is set frameworks and rules for the analysis. When the meeting is conducted for the purpose of analysis, the event manager must make sure that he sets certain rules for his meeting. The rules which are set by him must coincide with the main objective of the event. Further, the discussion in the meeting must be to mainly focus in achieving of these objectives. Fifth step is conduct the analysis. The analysis is then conducted by the event manager to find out if any problems are there and what kinds of measures can be taken to avoid them. And the last step is, implement changes and follow up. During the course of the meeting, if the event manager finds out that if necessary changes are to be made he can implement those changes and follow up the same. After the regular analysis we have to see the SWOT analysis in event management. SWOT is a strategic planning tool used to identify and analyze the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats involved in events. SWOT analysis can also be done on any organization. First one in SWOT analysis is strengths, these are the attributes of the project or organization which are helpful in achieving the project objectives. For example, experienced event team, high motivation levels, excellent PR, good market share etc. Then we have weaknesses, these are the attributes of the project or organization which are harmful in achieving the project objectives. For example, social loafing, lack of funds, inexperienced event team, low energy levels, lack of media and corporate contacts etc. Then there are opportunities, these are those external factors which are helpful in achieving the project objectives. For example, little competition, favorable economic conditions, support from the local authorities, availability of the state-of-the-art infrastructure etc. And at last we have threats, these are those external factors which are harmful in achieving the project objectives. For EX, high competition, little or no support from the local authorities, bad weather, poor infrastructure, high labor rate, unavailability of raw material.
It is very important that we conduct SWOT analysis before developing an event plan to develop a strategy which maximizes the potential of strengths and opportunities of the project and at the same time minimizes the impact of the weaknesses and threats. In this slide, we will learn about role of sales and marketing. The main role of the sales and marketing is to promote the event facilities of an establishment and where necessary, to make the initial approaches and contacts. The sales team needs to connect with the target segment by making active calls. The sales manager must have an extensive knowledge of room specifications, size, light switches, electric points, and output, IT capabilities, height and width of doorways, maximum floor loads and so on. This enables them to respond quickly to any queries at the initial meeting with a client. Most establishments offer various forms of banqueting meetings and conference sales packages. Customers like to see some physical evidence behind the words of the sales coordinator. This physical evidence is the banquet sales kit. In order to promote the sale of events, meetings, conferences, banquets, etc., most establishments now have banqueting or events or meetings and conference sales packs. These range from the very simple to the elaborate and complex, depending on the nature of the establishment. Examples of the content often included in these types of packs are, location and contact details of the establishment and the staff involved. Examples and descriptions of the type of events that can be accommodated. Information on how to get to the venue, local attractions, and car parking availability. Examples and costs of set packages, for example, for conference delegates this might be day rates, overnight rates, and meal rates. Room plans indicating size, possible layouts, availability of services, such as electric sockets, telephone, and IT points, air conditioning, access points and the maximum weight the floor will take, etc. Provision for disabled visitors. Room hire charges. List and description of styles of tables and chairs and other equipment available, example meeting tables, conference chairs, lounge areas, technical equipment such as public address systems, multimedia players and TV monitors, flip chart stands and paper, lecterns, data projectors, computers, interactive whiteboards, blackout curtains, double glazing and soundproofing. Charges for additional equipment such as projectors, etc., availability of room decoration, flowers and lighting systems. Availability of disco, resident bands, presenters, masters of ceremony, Toastmasters, etc., examples of meal packages, such as a set menus, snack menus, and conference lunches, and details of the service methods available, such as formal table service, buffet and in-room service. Other services such as car rental, limousine and private bus services, catwalks, business services, and other services of the establishment such as restaurants and fitness and leisure facilities. Standard terms and conditions of bookings. Now we will see how the booking process works. When the client is ready to make a booking a file is opened. This can be handwritten or computerized, depending on the establishment. The file will contain the client's details and will be used to hold all the requirements for the particular event, as well as all correspondence sent and received. At the meeting when the booking is confirmed an event booking form will be completed. The basic information that is recorded is shown below. Let's discuss how to plan and organize domestic and international theme events. First one is determining its purpose. While planning any theme lunch it is necessary to know the purpose of the event like whether the event is for wedding, company, birthday, festival, graduation, or any other event which required extensive planning. Next one is conduct a research, a proper research process related to cuisine, culture, and any other aspects of the theme needs to be conducted in the systematic manner. Idea exploration, background check, information gathering, source evaluation has to be done in a perfectly manner. Next is create an event design. Every event is a chance to build on the experience that your audience has with your brand or organization. From the pre-event communications to the on-site experience to the follow-up interactions, your event should be designed with a simple, consistent look and feel that supports your core message. Using great design to get attendees to the event, Help them navigate their day, give them something worth sharing, and engage them with your organization in new and deeper ways. You'll create community and engagement from the moment someone registers and throughout the event and beyond. 
Then we have to find a site. When organizing an event, you are confronted by many decisions. Choosing a venue is the one decision that will have the largest impact on your event. The date of the event, catering options, and attendees' pleasant experiences, all are partly affected by which venue you select. Then comes arrangement for food, decor, and entertainment. If you're not serving a full course, you should pick a time in between typical meals and make it clear on the invitation so your guests know what to expect. Add some personalization to the food and drink by featuring cuisine from a special date or vacation, such as sushi rolls and saktinis for a Japanese-inspired menu. Next is sending invitations. Before you send your invitation cards to your guest you should set your guest list. For e.g. any guest invited to your engagement party should also be invited to your wedding. Your invites should match the formality of the event you're planning. Then comes coordinating the activities of event personnel. Once the vision has been determined for the event, the coordinator needs to assist the event personnel to making that in reality. Next is schedule and hire require staffing. Figure out ahead of time about require staffing like videographer, photographer, security, entertainment. Also if in case in-house staff is not enough one should think about hiring a staff from an outsource company. Supervise at the site and conduct evaluations of the event. The final stage of theme events planning and organizing is the evaluation of the event's outcomes and the processes employed to achieve set outcomes. The fundamental purpose of event evaluation is to identify positive and negative practices with a view to improving future performance, whether this is in terms of financial performance, environmental impacts, or the overall operation of the event.